morning. Here we are in the Grand Bazaar, May 2011. Every year when we revisit, we find amazing things. However, this young man, Sammy, is one of our most favorites. He sells the most jewelry in the entire bazaar. And you can see, by looking at some of the things in his shop, he has new designs almost daily because of the people that work for him that are master craftspeople. These women, believe it or not, make almost all of the jewelry that you're going to see in the Grand Bazaar. Today, I'm going to show you some of the pieces that we bought to bring back to Coronado to sell in our shop. These happen to be my most favorite ones that I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to start with the one I'm wearing. These are Druzies. We've talked about Druzies before, the inside of the geode. Now, Sammy has designed new necklaces that are set in leather. And not only do we have the necklace for you, but we also bought bracelets. So these are going to be in our shop in about two weeks. We have Druzies, we have amethysts, and they're all set in leather with gold plating. These are going to be really going to fly out of the shop. I bought four necklaces and 12 bracelets, so there's enough for everyone. We always, when we're in Turkey, try to find some of the Turkish designs that are more about the tapestries and the gemstones. These are old designs with old pieces inlaid in them. I only bought two of these, but every one of the stones here are original, uh, real gemstones. Here are two of Sammy's new designs that we, actually he showed me these on the website and I thought, well, what are they? But whenever I got here and I saw these, I knew that we had to have these in the shop. These are the most beautiful tassels. These, by the way, were made by the two women you saw earlier in the video. I've only bought two, but these come in other colors and other designs. So if you're interested in them, I think I can probably convince T Sammy to make some more of them for us. Right next to it is another favorite, which everyone knows is Goldstone, set with coral, turquoise, pearls, and with tiger eye in the center of it. This is a beautiful piece to wear. Now, while I'm on this side, I'm going to show you one of the newest pieces that I bought, but I can't stand it because there's only one of this, and I want to sell it, but I also want to keep it, and that's this bracelet, this cuff right here. This is beautifully designed. I don't know if you can see all the workmanship that goes into this, but even the back is beautifully detailed, and in the front is a large crystal that's faceted in the center, surrounded by other stones. It's just a beautiful piece. This one's not cheap. But, like I said, there's only one of it, and somebody's going to be the lucky woman that gets to take this home, if it even makes it into the shop. Because, you know, you can call our shop and pre-order any of the pieces that you see here. Over here are some great bangles that I got last time that I was in Turkey, and we've sold every one of them, and they come, they, these are like the Bagari bracelets. These are, have a beautiful weight to them. They have turquoise, we have coral, and it's a beautiful combination to wear three together. We sold out of these the last time we bought them, and so I've got bought a few more just to take back. Then we get into the more exotic pieces, like this bright necklace. I just finished reading the book Cleopatra, and this is such an Egyptian-looking piece. This is with malachite, gold plating, and look at the beautiful clasp on the back of this one. This is a one-of-a-kind piece. I only have one of these necklaces. But I did find, look at this beautiful pearl bracelet. I can't resist the pearls. I always end up buying them with a beautiful class. I have three of these that he had in stock, but we can get more if we need them. And I also buy with amethyst. One of the most favorite stones nowadays, because silver's getting so expensive, is rose gold. So, because of the new exhibit that we saw at the Van Cleve and Arpel in New York, I had to have these, which reminded me so much of some of the Van Cleve and Arpel earrings that we saw. This is a beautiful cabochon amethyst set in rose gold with sort of the uh, good luck symbol from China. And look what else I got in rose gold. This ring, of course, you know how I love snakes. Ro rose quartz, rose gold, set with little teeny tiny individually hand set crystals on rose gold. The last piece I'm going to show you today is a Chanel piece, or I should say a copy of a Chanel piece. There is only one of this. This is turquoise, and it's set for a pendant on sterling silver. So either we can provide this chain, or you can get your own chain. I think this would be beautiful on that uh, diamonds by the inch chain, 
with diamonds on either side of it. So that's about it. We will be shopping further, of course. So this is only our third day here, and we've already just bought the most amazing pieces. We'll be sending these out right away. Today is May the 19th, so they should be probably in the mail in two days. So please call us. Check out our website at www.dforsight.com or um, come by and see our shop. We'd love to have you come in and visit us because we've also got a lot of new things from New York, which was where we were before we were here. So I'll talk to you soon. Please call me. Please let me know what you think of the things that you've seen, and we'll be buying more for you. Thanks.